ago, Brad and I, uh, we were trying to tie a diamond hitch on a pretty rank old horse, and it became quite a fiasco. So we decided that there had to be a better way to, uh, to pack our horses. So that winter we went home and uh, we found an old Forest Service pack box. The great thing about that pack box is it had a rounded back for the ribs of the horses. And we used that pattern to make a pack box. And then Brad wore on a sewing machine uh, making top packs. And uh, then Brad developed and designed a, a pack frame for pack horses. We're using panniers to haul our meat in. And we've gotten away from that uh, because of these boxes, these uh, boxes and frames that we've made. So um, we're going to go out to the shop and we're going to go over everything that we've built over the last 30 years so you can go ropeless, pretty much ropeless, on your, uh, when you're packing horses. And you don't have to carry a book with you to show you every knot that you have to tie. So stick with us. We're going to go to the shop and we're going to cover all three pieces of equipment that we made 30, starting almost 30 years ago. And uh, we, hope that, we hope it makes your packing easier in the future. Okay, these are the pack boxes that we built. Uh, if you take a look at them, you can see that they're, we fiberglassed them. Uh, the first pattern we got, we uh, didn't have a lid on it. It had ropes on the back. It was just an old piece of crap that the Forest Service had. So what we did is we modified it. We fiber, we built it off their pattern. We fiberglassed it. We put D rings on the front for tie downs for our top packs, and we also put a cinch on it so that we can tie it to the horse so that it doesn't bounce off if he gets a little bit rambunctious on us. And uh, we put our buckles for the lid. But if you take a good look at the lid, you can see that we routed out the edge of the wood so it fits down tight inside of the box so that the corner hits a tree or something or rock or whatever you run into or a horse lays on it, it's not going to break that corner out. That's one of the things we did. And then we put a piece of hardwood in the back so that we could uh, we could screw our uh, our rig into it. If you take a look at the top of it, you can see that we used instead of using piano hinges, we used leather to for our straps on the top. That makes it a little bit more. Uh, user friendly. It's not going to break on you right in the middle of a trip and if it does all you have to do is change out the leather and we always carry a little bit of extra leather in there with us when we go in. So everything that attaches to the horse is attached to the hardwood piece in the back. Okay. If you take a look at the at the pack box you'll see that we put the contour for the horse. Everything that we have for the pack horse is going to pack saddle has that same contour for the back so that uh, it doesn't it doesn't hit on the horse's ribs and all your pack saddles have uh, pads that are long enough that uh, it's not going to hurt them anyway if, they do, if it does hit them but we did contour the back this is also made so that we can put a small cooler in here if we want to go on a, a two day pack trip or three day pack trip we can put a cooler in each one of them and uh, that way you still have room for all the other stuff on top. And with a top pack, which we're going to talk about in a little bit, it makes it pretty dang easy. Okay, this is the top pack that uh, Brad built 25 years ago, 26 years ago. Um, as you can see, everything has to lay across the horse when you put your stuff in it. Uh, we got tie downs and, and D rings on each side, so it ties to our pack boxes or our frames, or Mickelsons, we'll call them. And uh, to show you how to put these on a horse, along with the pack boxes and all the other stuff that we've uh, developed over the past 25 or 30 years. So, all the stuff we've developed over the last 30 years that Brad and I have been doing this horse packing into the backcountry of Idaho.
as you can see you can see how the pack saddles uh, or the pack boxes fit on the saddles or on the horse's sides so that uh, they're not going to beat him up and it's not really bad so uh, that's how that's how they look when we when we get them all loaded on and ready to go so this is what the boxes look like when we get the top packs on uh, there's uh, I'm going to get around so you can see how it looks. And that's the packing setup that we use when we go to the hills when we're packing boxes. And the great part of these boxes are that they only weigh about eight and a half pounds a piece. They're really light once you get them put together. These are the wire boxes that Brad built. Um, I don't know, we don't know what to call them, so we're just going to call them Mickelson. Okay, so everybody puts their name on stuff occasionally. But what we've done with this is we built, Brad built a box so that stuff will fit in it like coolers, salt, bags of feed, uh, anything. Uh, we can put a quarter of an elk in each side of it. And the great part about this is we don't have to uh, tie it down with a rope. We can do nylon straps. Well, on the tie down here, these are actually built for the top packs, these two rings right here. We went to the Army Surplus store and we bought our strapping, which is really heavy duty for the pack saddle. And we used, Brad used pony um, horseshoes to uh, attach it to, to the box so that we didn't have to build something to cut into it. We knew that the horseshoes would not cut the, the nylon. Uh, once again, we rounded the back so that it fit contours to the horse's uh, rib cage, and we put the tie down on it to, for the the cinch for the tie down on it. Put a cooler in here, and it's real easy to tie down. Just take a nylon strap like this one here, and just run it through the handle, and just tie it, just hook it in and tie it in. And you're you're tied in for your trip in. Just do both sides. That way you have easy access to your cooler. Okay, now uh, now we put the Mickelson boxes on. If you take a look, you can see how the coolers fit in there. You can see how it's rounded to fit uh, the horse's ribs. Uh, they're made out of uh, uh, quarter-inch tubing. And uh, we've reinforced the corner so that if uh, we have to, we can, um, if we have to, we can uh, replace sections of them. Nothing like a good picture of the horse's ass. And you can see how both sides fit. You can see that the rigging we've used for it was Army Surplus straps and they're really heavy duty they'll uh they won't stretch and they won't wear out on us in a hurry so and you can see how the cinch underneath works how we tied it off there's the top pack on with the mickelson boxes that brad designed and built and as you can see it Everything, everything that has been built curves to the, to the uh, horses. And we went ropeless on this. So you should never have to use a rope on this stuff. Everything we put in those, we take in. Everything we take into the backcountry, we can do it. We can put it in the top packs. So there you go.